This is Dave Felberg, three-time consecutive Masters World Champion, and you're watching Ace Run Pro. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Ace Run Productions. Once again, Felix along with Conrad. As you can see, we are rocking our Team Infinite shirts because... Team Infinite, because we are Team Infinite players. Exactly. So a lot of you may not know, if you're part of Team Infinite, you can actually throw any company that you want, but Team Infinite also has their own line and brand of discs, and they fly amazing. So we wanted to come out here to Alexander Park, one of our home courses, doing do an Infinite-only round. So we're only going to throw Infinite discs, brands, on all of these holes and see how we score. Uh, fairly challenging course, some open, some wooded holes, really good example of what these discs can do. So let us know in the comments who you think is going to lose. <laughs> and it's coming your way next on Ace Run Productions. Let's, Let's run, run it. it. Just throw the chariot. Almost exactly what I want. I'm gonna try backing off of a Maya and see if it just gets there. First hole, not fully warmed up. What other excuses can I make? A little better. All right, circle's edge. Nothing in alpaca can't handle. So, Tom B, we're gonna put with this since we're doing an all infinite bag. Yep, gotta uh, compensate for that. All right, anyway. All right, putt with an alpaca, which is a lot deeper than my usual Emac judge. If you've thrown an alpaca, it feels like a P2. Let's see if I can make some putts. That works. I think we can clean up the pole. Look at that pose. That's how you do it. Time B. All right, downhill 330 foot shot hole two. Going with the eye blend Sphinx, hoping it just. Hold straight and doesn't turn too much. Settle. I'm gonna take my uh, Exodus here. Dang, what, I forgot what blend this is. We're gonna say it's an eye blend. Eye blend Exodus. Is he happy with it? Nah. Didn't stay straight long enough. Gonna try, put him with the time B again. This one is a, uh, it's the eye blend. It's 160. I got it from Dave Felberg. I thought mm -hmm. I was gonna really switch to these to put. Let's see if we figure out why I thought that. You mean infinite teammate Dave Felberg? Yes. No, world champion. Oh. Dave Felberg. Not doing that disc justice, man. I'm sure we're not. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's better. Dial it in. All right. I thought I was 25 feet. I'm more like 15. The old alpaca again. Right, two for two start. Good, good. 
Oh wait. Oh no. You like you like eight feet. I'm gonna let you tap that one in yourself. <laughs> I appreciate that uh condescending remark. It's because it's a different plastic too. It's not a putter plastic. I should have brought the the the, the, the D blend. D -blend. Yeah. That's what I should have brought. I just didn't want to bring too many discs. Whoa. Never a doubt. Well, thank, you, thank you, Chains. I'm Chains. You think the Chains came in to do their job today? Yeah. Who's that? I don't know. Somebody else's disc. Oh, that's you? All right, hole three is in the deep position, 485 feet par four. Going to throw our Ace Run Pro Stamped Faro. Shout out to everyone that got one. They are sold out, although we still have a few left. So if you want one, hit us up in the messages. We'll get back to you and we can get one out to you. We've got maybe 10 of these left. I'll take it. All right, so I have my Ace Run Pro Ferro. A little bit more stable than the one that you just saw in action. Oh yeah. That'll work. Oh yeah. Splatter Tom B. A little S blend. Right at the gut. Easy putt. Get you a tune. Trying to decide do I want to ruin this or do I want to. Hey man, I had this. You could have used it. I forgot that I had it. My fault. I threw the time B. What are you talking about? Oh, you threw the time B. That's good. I'm going to throw the ruin there. Since you threw a time B, I'm going to throw a ruin. Let's see if I can't get some stuff to happen here. Should I go that flat? No, I'll go that way. It's a putt. It's a putt. Yep. Maybe outside of my putting put tune range, but it's a putt. Over that attitude. I think, I think I'm still out. Yeah. Yeah. Should have brought more more tunes. We're gonna need more tunes. We're gonna need more tunes. Hey, why why am I further out than I was initially? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling at all. There he is. Solid. Thank you, Left Side Chains, for working overtime today. You could have gone home hours ago. But you stuck around for that putt. All right, hole three is straight shot, 250-ish feet. Um, I'm going to go with what I call my laser beam. This is a Sea Glow Anubis. That's not really what you call it. What you call it? I call it a pew 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 because it just goes straight as a laser. Try to hit that first tree right there, <laughs> or not. Ooh, I just missed it. Didn't give it any height though, so it didn't go anywhere, but that was the line. So for this hole, I'm gonna go with my P Blend Inca. This one has been seasoned. Not as seasoned as my one that I lost, but it's seasoned well enough that it should fly straight out this gap. That's it.
That's about the worst kick you can possibly get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this hole wins so far. I'm trying to show the people where the basket is. It's hard to see from this tree. But you can kind of see. Like, nope, that's a leaf. All right, the basket's somewhere out there, people. Trust us. It's, it's right through there. Yeah. I don't know. The student's very tight gap he's got to try to hit here. With a tune. Yep. It's not the right disc. Not the right disc. Wanting a little more stability, maybe? Let's see what he's going to do. A little bit more speed. More speed. So I'm actually going with my uh, S Blend Exodus. If I can get it out this gap, I can get it to go a little further with the amount of. Well, I got out the gap. Easy putt for this. Par one. Accomplished. Oh. Alright, this time I'm going to use time B. Close enough for a putt, I hope. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try this uh, Drew Gibson Ruin. All right, 243 feet par five. I'm going to go with one of my trusted putters. This is a cohort. Uh, this is in the R blend plastic. It's nice and beat in, so I can just throw it straight and let it fade. These things are fantastic. You can get your hands on them, but R blends are hard to find. Too much hyzer, but I have a putt. So this is one of our team stamp ghost stamp scepters. Just a little forehand with a little little flex on it. <laughs> on to hole six in the short position 205 feet up the gap to the left um i don't know what to throw here to be honest i'm gonna throw a chariot glow chariot Slightly uphill, sir. I think that's good. We'll see. Tom B. C. C. Metal plate. I don't know. It might be concrete. I don't know. I think it is concrete. First available, I can find, boy. I'll tell you that much. Say this par. What you got there? Got a chariot. I blend. Forehand. Up there. Through that gap. Ready for it? You ready? Not that gap. But it worked. So, there you go. You can see that kick you got at the end, huh? 
<laughs> oh, that's easy. A little window right there. Easy peasy. <laughs> Which window are you talking about? <laughs> Somebody need to close that window all that air came through and push you just to the right. All right, let's see if we can make this come back here for, I don't even know, four? The Bogue, this is the Bogue save. Oh, you didn't get the second guy going in, huh? Of on the counter. Yeah, we're not playing doubles. Huh? Odd dog. There it is. So good. Man, Man who, who got an uh, infinite disc toy I can borrow? Because I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have brought an alpaca. Should have brought an alpaca. I told you to bring an alpaca. Heck yeah, four down. Let's go. All right, hole seven, par three. Uh, it is in the B position, so it's a little shorter, 295 feet. This is probably the wrong disc for it. Then. Sure as hell, doesn't play like that. No, it does not. Um, I'm actually gonna throw a Maya. I'm gonna gummy Maya and try to get it to flip up and not turn so much. Try to make this gap. <laughs> part one. Oh, you didn't flip up at all. Oh boy, that's gonna be some work to save the car. Not really. Well, I don't know that. Shit, man. People don't know that. Oh, they're they gonna, gonna, they, they gonna, they gonna see it. People gonna see the drama. About they don't know it. They're gonna see when you're out there in the middle of the field. I don't got my regular disc. They don't know what I do out here. Well, it's gonna be hard. To, it's gonna be hard to save that up shot. <laughs> nah, let me show you what's gonna be hard. If I hit another first available, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I'm throwing a Maya as well. Oh boy. Now that's gonna be a hard one uh, to recover from because it's way over there. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, go in. Go in. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought it was in. <laughs> Who drew? Drew, you won't even know. trying to say I'm still out. That's what you're trying to say. That's why you walked over here. I'm just holding the camera, man. Hmm. Just gonna leave that trampoline in there, huh? Try to ruin my day with your trampoline, huh? Living the dream out here. Living the dream. Hole late, part three, 200 feet, left to right. Throw something that's gonna go left to right. Cohort. Branch, yep. That is awful, maybe a bogey on a 200 foot hole. <laughs> Very hard to do, very rare in disc golf. <laughs> But if you guys hold tight, you just might see it. Stay tuned. Tune, left to right, Annie, just. You, past the hole? Yeah, you're past the hole. You're flying yeah. with that, that down slope to the road. Them tunes be gliding, man. You know them tunes be gliding. Got awful on the part. I should have got down on the knee, just got lazy. Well, we're still on pace to see that four you guys were looking for. You promised them before you better deliver. You're gonna be like, how the hell did these guys get on the team? <laughs> oh boy, alright. Another 
サイトのこの辺をビャッ。Give it a some pace, we're gonna. Almost drop it in. There it is, the rare bogey on a 200 foot hole. You saw it here first on Ace Run Productions. <laughs> Doing my gummy sea blend my for the first time. I think it's the right call. All right, I'm going with uh, Ace Run Pro Faro once again. the old college try although I didn't try much in college so it's more of a throw than a putt ah oh, too stable that's all right give it a old post college try the putts thank you it's the bird with the bag, disrespectful. You wouldn't have made it without the leg kick. Yeah, the leg kick was pivotal. Counterbalance. All right, guys, that wraps up the front nine. So we've got a not so challenging round going on so far. Oh, it's challenging. It shouldn't be, but it's challenging. Uh, right now, three down for myself, two over for Conrad. Those of you that put in the comments that Conrad was going to win, it's not looking good for you. But the good news is there's still time for the real Felix to show up and mess this whole thing up. So we'll see you on the back nine. Thanks so much for checking it out. Conrad, I'm sure feeling confident. Not at all, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. See you on the back nine on Ace Run Productions.